Hi, I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper. Today we are making one of my family's favorite side dishes, bacon glazed carrots. Yep, I said it, bacon glazed carrots. This easy side dish is to die for. No matter how many of these carrots I make, there are never any leftovers. You are gonna love it. Now, make sure you click on the red subscribe button below so you're notified whenever I share new recipes. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to make our bacon candied carrots is to steam our carrots. Now, you can do them on the stovetop, but I like to use this microwave steamer. It's just three parts. I fill the bottom part with a little bit of water, put the slotted tray on top, put my carrots in, in a nice, even-ish layer. Pop this top on, slap it in the microwave for a few minutes and we'll have perfectly steamed carrots. So I'm gonna pop these in the microwave and then we'll keep going on this recipe. All right, so the first thing we need to do for our bacon glazed carrots is to get our bacon going. So here I have just three slices of bacon and it needs to be crumbled. So I just cut it into bite-sized pieces before I cook it. It just, I think it kind of saves a step. You can cook it whole and then crumble it or do it this way. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so we have our chopped bacon. I'm just going to transfer it into a skillet over medium high heat and we're gonna get all that fat rendered out of the bacon and we're gonna use that in this recipe. So. That just tells you it's gonna be delicious. All right, looks like our bacon is getting just about done. I have like one piece here that needs to crisp up a little bit more. because I like my bacon super crispy. Let me just get that in the fat. Okay, this, this is looking good, guys. And smelling good. All right, let's get this out of here. And I'm just going to transfer it to a paper towel lined plate just so it can drain a bit. We're gonna come back to you, delicious bacon. Okay, so I'm gonna turn, are you actually gonna leave that on? I'm going to take most of this bacon fat out. Okay, back on that goes. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Instead of butter, we're gonna cook these onions in some bacon fat. So I'm going to add a diced onion to the skillet, already nice and hot, so this will move along quickly. I really don't think there's anything better than onions cooked in bacon fat. Except maybe onions and garlic cooked in bacon fat. Ooh, yum, oh. I hear our carrots beeping away in the background. Okay, our onions are ready. We can move on. I'm going to add some brown sugar to the skillet. Get it all out of there. Come on, you. Out, out, out. And some of my house seasoning blend, just to get everything seasoned up. And then, voila the steamed carrots. That brown sugar is gonna caramelize up because it's gonna melt down in and that's what's going to glaze our carrots. Oh. This smells amazing. See how that brown sugar just kind of melts right in there. And these just need to be tossed around till everything comes together, because our carrots are cooked. So guys, you see how easy these are to make. This could be a weeknight side dish, but it's fancy enough for company. Okay, let's get these carrots into the bowl. <gasps> Look at that, get all that onion deliciousness bacon fat, oh yeah. Don't leave any of that glaze in there. 
Look at these. We are not done yet though. We need to add the crumbled bacon. So let's get some of that on there. Nice and crispy and salty, which is a nice contrast to the sweetness from the brown sugar. Don't skimp on the bacon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you bacon candied carrots. I mean, does it get more delicious than this? Let's go in. I want a little bit of everything, some bacon, some carrots, some onion. Mm. The carrots are so tender, but then you get the crispy bacon with its saltiness that cuts right through that sweetness. This has it all going on. You guys, you are going to love this side dish. It's definitely a keeper. Thanks for watching. You can get the printable recipe in the video description below. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And of course, check out the rest of my videos where you can find more of my favorite easy recipes and quick tips. I'll see you next time. Bye.